Sorry. All right, this one is one where we have to tell our horse to leave us and trust that we know what we're asking them to do. So you're going to, at your comfort, either stand in front of, stand on, or stand on, whichever you're most comfortable doing. You're going to ask your horse to stand on that bridge, then you're going to ask him to move on and stand on that bridge. Or if you want to try to... You're, yeah, you're, you have him on the line, but he's going to be at the end of the line. <laughs> okay. Tis. Wait, wait, wait. Back, back, back. So now I'm going to tell his front end which way I want his front end to go. Listen. Good. 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 Yep, you're right. Nope, nope, nope. You got to step on it. Back, back. Not, I want your front feet on it. Just your front feet. Both. Good. Ho. You did good. You did good. So front feet fine. One foot if we can only give one foot. So I'm going to ask him now to go to the other one. Go ahead. You can go. Yep. Slow him down. Ho. 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 Tears. 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 Ho. I'm going to get all four. So uh, to play with the gas, see if I get all four feet on. Tears, watch me. Don't move, don't move. Pay attention. Ready? Step. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're going to get off. Okay, come here, come here. You're good. You're a good boy. Okay. You did good. Okay. Are you doing it with the So the front end, you're going to communicate to the front end. So how to communicate to the front end is to, when you want your horse to go somewhere, uh, when they're looking at you and say you, you want them to go out on the circle, often we point like this. Well, let me show you what happens with the line when you do that. Okay. So I want him to go that way, or go that way, I should say. If I point like this, I'm bringing him to me. That's why so often horses don't understand when you send them out on the circle what you're asking them to do. So what I do is I imagine something, like there's a V from his nose. So I would send him to where that panel meets the fence. So that's where I would tell him to go. That will help him learn, watch, back. That'll help tell him which way I want his shoulders to go. You don't need that to get that bug. So I'm going to tell his shoulders where to go. Okay, which is much different than telling him to go that way. Because I'm telling him to come more on me. He obviously knows what I want more than most horses do, but... More than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, in order to position him... You can ask him to back away from you. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Now you can tell him, so you would point to me to tell his shoulders to go, yep, and you're going to give him energy with the end of the line. Good. Now, how fast you give him energy is going to be how fast his feet go. So that's like the gas on your car. If you don't intend to floor it, don't swing the rope. Okay. Support first, which is just show it to him. That's support. After support, then you give energy, and the energy starts slowly, and then you, you add intensity. If you give fast, it's kind of like volume. If you start on 10 and you only have 10, then you have nowhere to go. Yep, he has a turn signal, so just turn signal his face away. Yep, so just tell his face to go away. Good. It's okay. Ho. So now, very carefully, ask him to take one step forward. So you're going to stop him by wiggling. So the wiggling the rope would be the same as... Okay, so when I wiggle the rope, it means back up. 
if, it, if he's stopped. It means stop if he's walking. So you're going to wiggle the rope. Good. Yep. And now the, you can send energy, yep, at his face. And then ask him to step. Wiggle. Good. So he's just t telling you he's not 100% sure. Good. Now back him up. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep. He's just not, he's not sure you committed because you stopped. Good. And hope. Good. Good. And if he puts his ears forward at you, he's asking you a question. Good. So then he's, he's asking you, is that what you wanted? And he's waiting for further instructions. So now you can, what I, my move off or, or walk is a one kiss. So I'll kiss and point where I want him to go. And then you can raise the support first. Good. Yep, wiggle. Yep, you were right. <laughs> He's like, get on. <laughs> Good. And wiggle. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, good. So who's next? We've been doing you next? Okay. You want me to play with her? Hi. Hi, sweetheart. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just ask her to step away from me. As soon as she turns her shoulders away from me, I'm going to reward her by stopping. Good. Good girl. So that's the first communication. Oh, I found a nice itchy spot. That's a good reward. So my first communication is go that way. I'm going to kiss because I want her feet to move. Good girl. So that's her reward. Gonna ask her to back up. Back. Back. Good girl. So I'm gonna see if I can't ask her. Back. Good. I'm gonna communicate to her what I want her to do with her feet. So I'm gonna first talk to her and get her attention and then ask her to move her shoulders. Good. Good girl. Yep, you can look at it. So now carefully, because see how much energy she just had about, oh, what's that? So you don't want to really alarm them by dragging them up onto it. So I'm going to carefully ask her to step. Then I'm going to ask her to back away again, because I want her to start over. Back. Good. Ask her to move her shoulders again. Good. And then I'm going to ask her to step on there. So I'm going to give a little energy to her shoulders so she knows. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Making her wait there isn't necessary yet. Back, back, back. Good girl. So now I'm going to ask her shoulder to go the other way. Good. Ask her tail to go away. Good. And now I'm going to ask her to bring her front foot forward. Good. Good. And now I'm going to ask her to step on it with that left foot. Yep, you're right, baby. You're right. Good. Good girl. You did good. Yeah. So now to ask her from a distance, I'm going to ask her to step off. Good. So now I'm going to ask her from a distance. Back away. Back away. Back away. Back away. Good girl. So now I'm going to tell her shoulders where to go. And wait on her. See how she told me. Are you sure that's where you want me to go? So instead of getting mad at her or putting more energy, I waited on her because she knew what I wanted. So I'm going to ask her to back up now. Back. Back. Good. Now I'm going to talk to her. Kind of kind of talk to her nose and her shoulder because she needs to turn her nose as well. So I'm going to kind of get her to listen to my communication to her nose. Good. And now I'm going to add it to her shoulder. Good. Now I'm going to ask her to step forward. Good. Now she's a little worried. Good. 
Just let her rest for a second. She wants, now that she's asking me a question, she's like, are we supposed to do something with this thing? So now I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I'd like you to step on there. You just did it when I was over there by you. No, no, don't, because okay, she's getting worried. Good. I'm going to ask her to back up because the next step she takes is going to be towards me. So I'm going to ask her to back up. Back. Good. Try to redirect her shoulder again. Ask her to step forward with a little energy on her shoulder. Good. You're right. You're right. Yep. Going to give her a second. She knows what I want now. She's just checking it out. Good. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. You got an itchy spot on this side too? Or just the other side? I know. The other side. The other side's good though, right? Huh? Right there was the one. Was that it? Or how about the chest? Okay. So do you want to try that? Okay. So your focus has to be on the part of the body you want to move. So if, say, her nose is, is not pointing the right direction, you need your focus to be on her nose. And you want to be careful if you, you influence the nose with energy, especially with the line, that you don't actually hit her. Um, or if you can control how gently you can tap her. So we're going to get back on this one. Yep, yep. Back up. Back. You're a good girl. Back. Good. Back. Yep, continue. Yep, that's okay. She just wasn't sure if you really meant it. Yep, you can, or you can even just tell her that you know what to do with this by standing there first and asking her so she knows that you actually are part of it. So now it's very gently, very gently you're going to ask her to go forward. So it's very, very gentle, gentle, gentle. Yep, yep, wiggle, wiggle, yep, good, there. Now, wait for a second, because she needed to set back up, so, so I don't want her to get confused. So now you're going to gently kind of ask her to come to me. So you're going to kind of point towards me, and you're going to ask her shoulder to come towards me. Yep, there, perfect, perfect, and stop. Put all your energy down. Good. Okay, so now if you want, we can try it from the block. And get her off first. Yep, yep. Good girl. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can ask her to back up from there. If you don't want to stand on the top one, you don't have to. Good, good, good. Yep, keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. Yep, keep asking. Yep, there you go. Now, your energy has to go on her nose. Her nose needs to turn first. So you're gonna communicate to her nose to turn. Don't drag her, don't pull her, because if you pull her, that's gonna make her go where your hand's telling her to go. So you want to give energy at her nose. There you go. There you go, good. Now, your energy needs to go at her nose. So instead of pulling her, okay, now now put your energy at her shoulder. If, you, if, you, if she gives it to you, you can take it. So put your energy at her shoulder. So kind of move the rope like you're lobbing it at her shoulder, like you're doing like a pendulum at her shoulder. Yep, yep, don't, don't try to flicker, just try to just kind of give it like the whole lobbing. Good, good. Now, now she's listened to you. Now, give her a second. Give her a second. Good. And give her a second. She may even just offer to do it herself. So now gently ask her to go to my barn. Gently. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So you want to, that's how you're going to communicate to her that she got the wrong idea. Good. Now, put influence on her shoulder again. Yep, yep, yep. Now leave her alone, leave her alone, leave her alone. Whoa, you okay? <laughs> Good. All right. She got on there. All right. And I got her off by tripping. Oh, that's okay. You didn't, if, if you needed to, you could have just stood next to it. You didn't have to get on there. Okay. Good girl. Good. Okay, come on. All right. Ready? Now, if you don't want to stand on the mounting block, it's just more for just to keep you there. Because I find that often... It's okay. I'll, I'll try. Yep. Yep. 
Now, let his nose go where it wants to go. Because he's already offering you his nose. His nose was, oops. His nose was going to go where you wanted it yeah. to, and then you took tension on the line, and by taking tension on the line, you changed his okay. idea. Okay. I would have influenced, once he offered you his nose, I would have influenced his shoulder. So go ahead and influence his shoulder, because he's offered you the nose. Yep, now, yep, there, good, perfect. Yep. Now, wiggle, good. Now leave him alone, leave him alone. Let him sort it out. Yep, he's asking you, is that what you want? And ho, oh, good. It's okay, it's okay. He doesn't actually have to stay there. Good. <laughs> so there you could have influenced his rib cage. Good. Good, good. That's okay, that's okay. Now ask him to, now what I would do is I'd put energy on his rib cage. Okay, he's going to do it by himself. Good. Good. Yes, he's asking. Good. Yep. Yep, there. Now, that's enough energy. That's okay. He just, he wasn't sure. So now what you're going to do is you're going to give him a, what I call a draw. Okay, now he, he changed it because you could have drawn him. Ask him. So go ahead and ask his nose, pretty much. Ask his nose to turn. Good. Now. Now ask his nose completely. So you're going to drive his nose away if you can. Your nose got to go that way, buddy. So ask him to back up for a second. I know, we, we just learned this. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, he's perfect. So now influence his shoulder. Yep, you can bump his nose in the direction you want. Good. And then influence his shoulder. Yep, there you go. There you go. Yep, yep. Good. Now, give him a second because he, he's asking, is this what you want? Okay. Now, influence his shoulder still because of the way his nose is pointed, he might pass it. Yep. Good. Good. Give him a second. Yep. Now, give him a... And what, I don't know if you have a forward cue. Yep. Yep. That's all him thinking about it. Good, good. Yep, he's he's doled out on you now. So now go ahead and give him some kind of forward influence. There, okay. We got him back. So now just point where you want him to go. <laughs> good. There. Yeah, now he's gonna go. Good. Good. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Now just wait. Just wait. Just wait. He's gonna do it. Good job. Good. And see, the, the way he's looking at you, he's, he's very proud of himself, and he, he wants to know that you're proud of him. So, do a good job. You did a good job. Yes, you did. All right. Have fun, Ashley. <laughs> Give it a shot, Mr. Tyson. I'll probably snort at it. <laughs> or eat the little twig that's right there. Tyson, seriously. Okay, so, yep. Engage him somehow. There you go. Good. Oh, good boy, Tyson. I'm impressed, buddy. Step up. Good boy. No, Tias. <laughs> Don't you dare. He's <laughs> All right. So, tell him that you want him to go out on the circle and over to the other one.
Yep. Yep. Okay. Give him some step up cue. Now, you're gonna have to influence his nose now because he's changed his shoulder, but his nose has to go first. There you go, good. Almost, it's okay. Let him come back to this one. Really Tyson? Okay, so what could you have done that could have helped him there, huh? Yes. So he might cut in again because he's figured out that he's allowed to just cut in. Yep. So put your energy to Yep, there you go. Good. Wiggle, wiggle so he knows that he's not supposed to just walk by. Good. Ask him to step up towards you. Wiggle, wiggle. Ask him to back off now. Back away and then try to get him to step up from the far end. Good. Influence his shoulders back towards the barn. He's swishing his tail because he's starting to wonder what you want. Pretty soon he's going to paw. Okay. Yep. Good. Now ask for that one more step so he can commit to it. Yep. Ask for the one more step. Good. And now leave him alone so he can commit to it. It's okay. Good. He didn't know what to do. That's okay. Okay. Send him to the other one. Let's let 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 that one sunk in. Good. Okay, yep. Yep, he's allowed to look at it. <laughs> and lick it. Apparently he's got to lick everything today. <sighs> Alright, so we can move him on because he doesn't need to clean it. Step up, Tyson. Good. Now, take the energy down. Good. Now he's just asking. So now you want to influence his shoulder so he understands that you were you were meaning to do that. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. So you figure out what you want to do from there. You can back him back off. Good. Now, it somehow influence his nose in my direction. He knows it has something to do with that. He's asking you, you want me to do something with that. <laughs> Tyson, seriously. <laughs> so, put, no, I would, you, you're asking for too much forward. I would have lobbed the rope towards his shoulder okay. to influence his shoulder to turn back. So now he's just asking, okay. And he's going to get a little worried because he, he thinks it, okay, good. Yep, give him a second. Now, because we don't need him to keep licking all the dirt, so just ask him to go forward. Good, and wait, wait, wait. Good job. Okay. So we can't, if you want, you can try to get him on the other one the way he got on this one. It's okay. Good boy. You're okay. Good job. So now it's a gas thing. Yep. Yep. Watch. You're going to influence. I would influence his cheek, believe it or not. Good. And leave him alone. Leave him alone. Ask for forward only. No influence on anything. Just ask for forward. Good. Leave him alone. Good job. Okay. So... We were going to do a figure eight, but we're, instead we're going to go ahead and side pass over these cones. We're going to ask them to trust that you know you want this to go under their belly. So you're going to ask them to side pass over these cones. Okay, so side pass, 